Hello and welcome to another video from myself, James Lawson Smith. Today I'm actually doing an update, sort of follow up video to one that I did previous, which was how to upload a video to YouTube. Now, what this one is going to be is a complete A to B guide of how to get your video on YouTube, get it tagged, and actually get it live so that people can actually watch it. Now, the video I'm going to be uploading is just a very quick one, I'll just show you it here in VLC Media Player, it's just a bunch of lights that are dancing about. So basically I'm logged in to my YouTube homepage, go up to the top here, I'm going to click upload, and here we are presented with the upload feature. As you can see I've been enabled to upload videos longer than 15 minutes, which I have made a separate video about that. Um, so what I'm going to do is click on upload video. I'm then going to go to my drive where my video footage is. Uh, that's the wrong drive. I want this one. So I'm going to go to stock VJ stuff DVM li light and liquid. And the one I want is this one right here. So this is only a very small file, it is 33.8 megabytes, it is a MOV file which YouTube does recognize. Now that's one thing to remember, you have to upload it in a format that YouTube will recognize. Now the most popular formats YouTube recognize are MP4, MPEG, AVI, you know the really sort of popular ones, but it won't recognize, say if you try and upload an FLV flash video file, it won't recognize what that is. Um, there are lots of others that it won't recognize, so try and stick with some of the more most commonly used file extensions and codecs. I will put a link down below where YouTube actually has recommendations on how to encode your videos. So here we are, it's uploading the video now. So while it's uploading, you can input your title. So I'm just going to put random lights. And this is a random light video to show how to upload a video. And in here, I can put in some tags, uh, put lights random uh, Christmas because they seem to be a little bit Christmassy and then I'm going to tell it what category I would like this to be in now uh, for this one I don't quite know what it will be and I'll put it in how to and style um, now at the bottom here you have your privacy options now you can make it public so that anyone can search for and view your video now this is the recommended setting if you want people to be able to see your video and you want people to you know, watch your video and comment and all that sort of thing. You want to make your video public. Now, you can also make it unlisted. Now, anyone with a link can view. Now, basically what this means is the video won't be listed in any of the YouTube searches. It won't be indexed by Google, but it will be available for anyone to watch if they have the direct link to that video. Now, private, um, only specific YouTube users can view. Now basically what this means is that only a selected sort of group of YouTube users with YouTube accounts can watch this video. Now I think the maximum at the moment is 25 users so you can select up to 25 people to watch this video. Now even if someone has a direct link to that video they can't watch it it will just come up as private or unlisted video you know and they can't watch it. Then all you have to do is just click on save changes. Then at the top, it will say, changes pending, your video settings will be saved once your upload is completed. Now basically, once the video has finished uploading, it will then save these settings into that video. Now if you actually open up a second tab and I go to my videos, so if I go along here over to my videos, it will actually show that the video is currently uploading. So here we are, here's that video that we're currently uploading. It's still got the original file name and none of the actual settings that we put into the 
uh, change settings part have actually changed yet. Now that only happens once the video has finished uploading. So we have about another five minutes remaining on this. So I'm just going to skip forward and uh, show you the rest of the process of what happens once your video has been uploaded. So here we are now, the video has finished uploading. Uh, once it has finished uploading, you'll get a green bar along the top to say that your video settings have been saved. Now you'll only get this if you actually change the settings in the video information down below. Um, the second one you'll get is your video will be live in a moment at, and then the link straight to your video. Now the upload progress will show 100%, and processing, uh, this can vary depending on what format you upload the video in. If the video is in a very close format to the way that YouTube likes it to be, then the processing will be fairly quick. If you've got a long video that's in a format that YouTube doesn't like, oh, sorry about that, that YouTube doesn't like, you will you you can wait a long time. You can wait anything from a couple of minutes to a few hours to maybe a day or so. It all depends on how long it takes the YouTube servers to process your process and convert your video. Now, the settings used for this video was a MOV format, 720 by 576, and the codec was an MJPEG. Now, YouTube understands this format quite easily and very quickly. So we're just going to go into My Videos. And there we are. The settings have been saved in. I have set the broadcast to private because I don't want my subscribers seeing some random silly video. So I'm just going to go on to play. And here we are. The video is live straight away. Um, as I said, not all videos will be live as soon as you upload them. It can take a while for it to process. So basically there is a complete A to B guide of how to upload your video and uh, get it live. As I said, you know, a lot of people have been complaining that their videos are rejected and, you know, their videos are taking forever to process and all this sort of thing. Uh, basically, you have to upload it in a format that YouTube understands, which links will be down below so that you can see what formats YouTube will accept. And processing can take, you know, anything from a few minutes to a few hours to a few days. Um, it all just depends on what format you've uploaded it in, how long the video is, how, you know, overworked or stressed the YouTube servers are. There's a lot of factors that factor into the YouTube processing. Okay, so if any of you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. You can also message me through YouTube. Just go along to my YouTube channel and click uh, send message, and I'll be quite happy to answer any questions that you guys have. I'll do my best to get an answer to you as quickly as possible. If you like, you can leave a video response to th this message if you're having problems uploading your videos at all. Um, you've been watching James Lawson Smith. Thank you very much for watching, and please don't forget to subscribe for more YouTube updates and how-to videos.